Hey guys, Ultimate Fall here in downtown Montreal, Quebec, Canada, North America, in the mud ball we call Earth, of course, and it's uh, looking quite beautiful for the last day of February 2023. Let's take a walk with me here, crossing uh, Ackwater Boulevard here. Been a sudden change of plans in my little itinerary that I only made just an hour ago. <clears throat> yeah, I was uh, gonna do a walking video on one of the streets downtown here that run all the way up to Westmount that was like this, south, uh, a south north type of street. And uh, the uh, plans were uh, just changed just now because I come out of the metro and the wind is coming out from the south. So with the wet snow, we can't have that going on the camera, can we? Oh, look at this nice uh, forerunner here. Oh, I dig that. Yeah, I like that. Big tires. Ideal uh, vehicle for these types of conditions. But don't buy that for any fuel economy. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, now the wind is also uh, coming uh, from the west. So, uh, yeah, great. The wind seems to be coming from whatever direction it wants. So I don't know if you're going to hear all this. Well, too bad if you can't hear it all. I can't control the wind. I can only do the best I can to, as I was going to, film a walking video. I was going to take the 144 on Pine Avenue. Uh, which goes all the way up to all the way up at water pine avenue to the east end all the way to sherbrooke metro but uh and film one of the streets around there walking downwards to downtown from westmount you know but uh again it's just uh not in the cards of the wind i always have to go with the wind generally speaking so that again the uh lens doesn't get all uh uh smushed with snow there and the, you can hear everything i say it's not too windy today though it's not bad of course, this same uh, uh, depression, or oh, depression, it's funny you should say depression, I'm still in a depression actually. <laughs> a little walking video will cheer me right up, eh? And uh, there's one of the reasons why I'm depressed right here. Having to take the scrap all the time, all the goddamn time. I'm telling you, man, like, I, I don't even want to talk about it. You guys, you know these buses, and you're in Montreal, you've been in Montreal, you've taken these pieces of shit. I took one yesterday on the 72 route. Oh my god, that was a long ride. Oh my god. And then there was the Spanish woman talking non-stop. Blah, 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 blah on the phone there. Oh my god, just to irritate me more with my Asperger, friggin' autistic, whatever you want to call it, uh, syndrome uh, setback. Boy, what are they waiting for to knock all this down, eh? Gonna become a big condo. This actually used to be a, a car dealership here. Or a few of them over the years anyway and uh I remember i went in there once i don't remember why i think i sold a guy an mgb eyes or something like that i think he had a classic mgb up there on the second floor anyway we're walking we're still downtown but now we're walking westerly into westmount which is of course the city's most expensive area to live wealthiest you know and uh but again, why am I doing this? Because it's such a beautiful, it's still one of those beautiful aspects of winter is when it snows. I can't stand it when it's all cloudy and all. It's all that, madam. It's okay, it's just YouTube, but no big deal. Wow, she really didn't want to be on camera. Like, holy cow, she really like was avoiding like For a woman her age, what the hell is she avoiding me for? Eh? Well, yeah, freaking, uh, maybe she's a freaking uh, fraud on welfare or something. I always wonder about that. Been doing this for so many years about how like, you know, these people, I see, I see them shy away. They really want to get out of the shot. Like, what's what's up? You know, like, what's the dealio? Uh, winds kind of come from the beast, the west a bit there, as we are walking west, as I mentioned. Look at this. I said it before, and I'll say it again. This reminds me of my aunt Lucie I saw yesterday. Oh, I spoke. I went over for a place for dinner, and I, I actually spoke with her for for about an hour in English. That was amazing because she's learning English. She is never too late. She's seventy-five. Anyway, she's got a Chevy. Uh, spark like this and it's a it's a weird old school kind of a i don't know it's like a pearl cream color or beige and then this one look at this color it's interesting too so again it always comes down to these subcompact compact cars that usually have them often the nicest colors and yet the luxury cars you know they're always friggin black and gray and silver and white this thing is a joke i remember one time there was a guy here British guy he opened a place called the London Cat London, London Bus Cafe, and it was a picture of like a double decker bus. And I sold him a picture from a book, whatever, uh, you know, framed it there. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's nice. See, that's thinking outside the box, right? Land Rover. What, what color do we usually think of these things when we see them, right? They're black. I don't care if you're here in Toronto, or Vancouver, but that thing is a nice metallic red. All right, you know what I love about these old step vents? Fishtailers. 
Yeah, floor it, floor it. Yeah. That's right, because it's rear wheel drive, and that's the downside to rear wheel drive. It'll just wheels just spin and spin, and you'll fishtail, can't can't turn perfectly. And uh, but that's great. That's uh, it's, well, no, it's actually not good at all. <laughs> it's only great in a in a kind of like a you know like a fun historical sense, you know. And uh, because front wheel drive, of course, front wheel drive is basically like the fuel injection of like driving. You know, like fuel injection will always be better than carburetors, but carburetors sound the best, and you can do little adjustments to carburetors and stuff. Yeah. Floor it. Floor it. Floor it. We're gonna we're gonna get somebody fishtailing here sooner or later. So this is really, like I said, an impromptu walk because my change plans change, and it's not gonna be snowing hard like this all day. So, oh, uh, this building right here, which kind of looks like the stock exchange building, this is Westmount Square. Typical, like it's like a miniature Placeville Marie, you know. It's she, a woman there first. She's laughing. <laughs> You're welcome. And uh, yeah, and so basically, bottom level is like all shops, and boutiques, and stuff, and then. And then the rest is all office uh, business, business. And by the way, the street back here, my God, you know, I'm not sure I've ever really done a walking video here before, but that street by there is almost the beginning and end of Rene Lévesque Boulevard, which of course used to be uh, Dorchester. What street are we at here anyway? Oh yeah, that's another sign you know you're in Westmount. Look, look at the sign. I can't zoom in because I'm wearing gloves, you know what I mean? But look, this is... Uh, Gladstone, that's how you know you're in Westmount too, or a very expensive neighborhood. They have beautiful, beautiful street signs like that, like thick, you know, like made the last and I smell hamburger. It smells good. Look at all these fucking colorless cars. It drives me nuts, man. All the more reason. I mean, as much as the snow is beautiful, it's still colorless. It's still, you know, depressing. I mean, I have my coffee because I'm addicted to it, but it gives me a, you know, gives you a buzz, gives you a boost. What's wrong with that? They even friggin' proved it that friggin' uh, coffee uh, can uh, ward off depression. Well, I'm a perfect example of that. I have the friggin' five coffees a day. Jesus Christ, I drink so much Timmy's coffee alone. I got Timmy's coffee at home. I have it on, on the go. I'll have one later. Uh, they, I, almost sometimes I feel like calling the company and say, listen, why don't you, uh, you know, pay me to endorse your friggin' uh, do some advertising for you. But the fact of the matter is, they, they don't need any advertising at all. You know, yeah, it's okay. There's a little bit of wind like this hitting the camera. It's not too bad. Not terrible colorless. All the men. Look at this. See? like 9 out of 10. I estimated that years ago. 9 out of 10 cars are colorless. Man. The newer they are, the more colorless they are. And you know why I think that is? I, I, you know me, I think a lot, right? I'm not committed to a 9 to 5 job. I respect UPS. Look, they kept their brown color, the dark brown. It's elegant. It's got a touch of class. It's old school. You know? Anyway, uh, what was I, gonna, what was I saying now? Uh, the colorless cars. Oh yeah, yeah. The thing, the reason why they're so colorless is because those are the only colors: the black, white, silver, gray. Those are the only colors that actually look good on modern cars, right? It's almost like if they go with everything, like clothing. Now look at this Subaru. I don't like it, but I love that green type of green you see on a Jeep Wrangler, for example, right? Uh, it's after school special there. It's probably about, uh, if I were to guess, probably about 2.30. Maybe it's closer to 3. You know. You know, I once bought a whole bunch of Life magazines from a real nice lady from, I don't remember which street. It was one of these side streets here. I remember her, her uh, apartment or whatever townhouse was like right where the, the, uh, the CN line, not the CN line, but the commuter train line is. So you see, like, really, this is practically the end of the beginning of uh, uh, Rene Levesque Boulevard. Yeah, now the wind is, now the wind's coming from the north, for Christ's sake. This is Victoria for sure, eh, right? Or green? This is Green Avenue. It's Green Avenue, l'avenue verte. Ben, you can't really say that in English, in French, because it's, it's, uh, well, I don't want to go there, let's just say. Oh, look at this. You guys having to see all these kids coming out right now. Going out of school, all excited, gonna go freaking pick up candies and chips and whatever at the dip and her and uh, play endless games with your phones and uh, fucking TikTok and Instagram and all this bullshit basically is. Even Facebook is bullshit, even though I sell on there. So don't get me started with the freaking. Uh, at least YouTube has more of an educational value, in my opinion. Even me, as much as I, 
I'm not like a big time YouTuber, you know, like 100,000 whatever subscribers, but nevertheless, I do throw out a lot of interesting facts out there. You know? Not only being an entertainer at the same time and singing uh, random songs. I think this is the RCMP building. Isn't it? I don't know. Could be it's all, or it's a school. It's weird. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, yeah. How many of these kids are going to be? This is annoying now, you know? This reminds me about how this is when it's really annoying to take a city bus now. It's when all the you got the kids that come on the bus. I mean, they have some of them have their own their own buses, their own uh, city uh, STM scrap school service buses. They're only for that. But uh, generally speaking, uh, whatever I talking about, I talk too much. Uh, I talk too much. Maybe I'll just be the backwards walking man. What street is this? No idea. Okay, well this is kind of annoying. I'm going to switch sides here. I don't like. Uh, you know, when you upload videos, actually, you have to go through this platform on YouTube where you have to answer certain questions, such as, does your video contain, contain nudity, violence, drugs, all that, you know, usual stuff. But also, it has a question that says, does it, uh, and, and it has this question, yeah, it says, does it include kids, you know, like, man, now I wish I didn't run into all these damn kids because, like, and then it's like uh, it looks kind of questionable even though it's not on purpose it's just that's a nice color look there's a school around here i don't know where they're all yeah they're all over the place there they're all excited you know what i mean they're all stuck inside listening to friggin' shit about science and bullshit about math and what did i say bullshit about math because i hated math it was my worst subject why are you gripping each other like you know okay they're on this side they're on the other side man no man it's like infestation uh, Oh, look at this electric scrap. We'll see where that shit box is in 10 years. Costing taxpayers way too much money. I really, matter of fact, I should make a mental note of that and check that out someday and say, hey, you know, like what, uh, like basically, how much more does one of these, a transit electric bus cost more than a regular electric bus, a transit bus? So I would imagine a, a school bus is not any better, any, any different. It's the goddamn batteries that cost a fortune. I mean, think about it. If you got a fucking Tesla or some shitbox like that, you know how much it costs to change a battery? It's like 20, 25 grand. Look at this. How much do you think it is for a bus or a truck? It must be insane. It must be like 50 grand or something. Okay, these kids aren't putting a pipe wrench in the blinds, but it is annoying them. Jesus Christ. Yeah, say that again. Were you talking to me? You're all going to be on YouTube anyway. Okay, now we're at Clark Street, which is weird because there's another street called Clark, which is east of here and is, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's next to St. Laurent Street, the main. So. Uh, oh, here comes another one. Another one uh, vehicle where people think they're saving the planet with these pieces of junk. Honestly, there's so many of these kids around here throwing me off that, uh, oh, no, that one actually is diesel. Well, I still don't like it. I'd like them for a while, but then they went electric, and, you know, that's really where I veered off there. So the question is, the weather office said we're going to get about 15 centimeters. Now, last week, they said we were going to get 15, 20 centimeters. We didn't freaking even, even get freaking five centimeters. Now they're saying, like, 15 centimeters. Yeah, well, I'll believe when I see it. How about, sorry about that. How about, like, maybe, like, it's going to snow... Uh, Thursday, so maybe like Thursday, it's gonna snow again. Maybe we'll get a total of 20, 20 flies in. That would be good. That's horrible. Frankly, I'm a little burnt out from that. A little burnt out from this little operation. Okay, the wind is going a little crazy now, right? So, all right, I don't think it's gonna be too, too long of a walk. I'm gonna end this at this light there just because now there's more wind and okay, there's less of these kids. It must have been coming from the school over here, I'm thinking. That's where I was looking, where they were coming from there, like, you know. Sir, we're gonna go now, I don't know. Oh man, you know what, I think I'm gonna go. I just blew my mind. I'm gonna walk down a Lansdowne Street. Maybe that's where I should finish this, actually. 
because the street is, you know, the intersection because the street goes down like this into a tunnel underneath the commuter train tracks. Let's see if I can feel myself a CN in the snow. You know? Hey, I think this is the building that used to be a, uh, a Peugeot. Peugeot Canada head office, actually. I think. I think so. Hey, I met one of these guys. One of these guys drives these uh, FedEx trucks. This guy right here. Tony. Yeah, if you're watching this, Tony. What's up, buddy? It was great talking to you there when I met you on Queen Mary there. Uh, uh, I don't know. A couple weeks ago, I guess. <laughs> uh, but I got to tell you, as much as I'm still in a funk, I'm still feeling depressed, you know, freaking winter blues and all that shit. But you know what? I'm really happy to say, knock on wood, that again, the pericarditis heart condition, which fucking plagued me for years, for three years. It took me to get rid of this shit. Like yesterday, I went for a long ass walk. Now, if you know Montreal, I walked from Dorval bus terminal. I walked all the way to Sources in the 20, and then I walked all the way to Sources in Hymas. That, my friends, is a friggin' long walk. So, you know, and, uh, sorry guys, sorry about that. So yeah, uh, so again, I didn't feel sick, I didn't feel tired, felt in top shape, I feel in top shape. I even went last week to see a doctor who's uh, gonna do another hernia surgery on the right side, and uh, she, uh, she, you know, check me out. They did a weigh me and you know height and all this and questions and they're like, yeah, she's like, you're in perfect health. Yes, sir. Woohoo! Perfect health. And there we are at Redfern. Notice it's not a coincidence that all the streets are English. Hence, this is Westmount. Hence, the fact that is in the western part of the city, and that the English have always had all the money. Okay, I like the brown in your car. I don't like your car. I especially don't like those modified exhausts. I'm noticing, thankfully, the police seem to be doing their job and getting rid of these cars. The goddamn mufflers there. There's annoying mufflers. Annoying, not as annoying as those stupid lights in the goddamn bumper of this truck. That's another thing that irks me. These goddamn mufflers that backfire, these stupid goddamn lights in the bumper. What the hell is that for? You know, it's like, it's like I always say, you know, like there's not, an, like there's too many laws and there's not enough laws at the same time. It is what it is. So that's the way it goes. And that's the way she goes. Oh, I like that diamond shape. Look at that. I don't like that. I kind of like the, the door to a bar or something. Eh? How many times do you think I filmed this truck alone? Oh my God. Yeah, but I still like all the older Kenworths more. That's weird. It's a flatbed, but it's like a covering on all the side. That's bizarre. That's kind of strange. Something smells kind of good. Okay, the wind is like getting worse going coming from the west. I think we're going to stop this here, actually. I just, uh, here's another one. Oh, man, I know there was a viewer uh, who sent me a video that a friend of his made in a, a very old uh, apartment building that used to be a hotel uh, in Ushamo, and it blew my mind. I mean, it was such a, an old elevator she filmed for a minute. It had the gate, it's got all the brass fixtures. Amazing, and uh, this is not amazing, the window. God, oh my. See, look at all these British names, all British ancestors. Kensington, Renfrew, and, uh, you know, so... Lines down, which I'm not going to finish this video as I thought because, again, this is not walking with the wind anymore. It's not good, so. Uh, la boucherie is a coin, which uh, translates to, here's educational, the corner butcher. No, sorry, the neighborhood butcher. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching, and I uh, hope you're all uh, doing all right there, you loyal subscribers. You can find me on Patreon. I occasionally put pictures on there. I wish it was more of a success, but... I guess I'm not great in business, but I'm not too bothered anyway. But uh, I know a lot of you connect to me because I keep it real. You don't mind some swag. You don't mind some banter and talking. So, you know, I, I still get constantly complaining about the talking, complaining about, you know, like, fuck off, you know. You don't have to watch this. Nobody's fucking paying, forcing you to watch my videos. There's lots of snow removal videos you can watch, by the way. That's another thing. I got a guy who commented the other day. He's like, he's like, oh, if we turn off the mute, I can watch the video. I can mute it. Screw you. That's an insulting thing to say, you know. But don't shit about that, because we say in French, go fuck yourself, which is in English. And if you're offended by that, please don't subscribe. And especially don't watch my videos, because you're definitely not going to subscribe. Man, this place went out of business. Look at that. This place had been here for like a long, long time. It's been such a long time. It's been such a long time. You know what's funny is I know I did a walking video 
this part of St. Catherine Street years ago, but I, can't, I don't remember uh, when, and uh, I don't even think it was this whole area even, frankly, you know. Oh, so many apartment buildings there. So many apartment buildings in here that I could wish I could see and record the vintage elevators. No, this is the building I think that had Peugeot Canada headquarters. I think it was right here actually. Yeah, I remember I filmed the uh, the elevator once and the guy flat out told me that. I was like, wow, cool, you know, that's great. Too bad it didn't last because Peugeot is a piece of junk. <laughs> Peugeot, Citroën, Simca, Lada, Skoda, all garbage. If you don't like that, what I'm saying, too bad. Once again, you don't have to watch my videos. You don't have to agree with me. That's the trouble with society today. We come to a society where, like, well, if somebody doesn't agree with you, they're going to cancel you out, especially if they're a certain age, a younger age. Absolutely ridiculous. It's not how you're supposed to be brought up. A bunch of whiny fucking brat kids. Whiny and ungrateful fuck. Like, oh, I don't agree with me. Anyway, whatever. It is what it is. All right, I'm finally going to end this here. I'm tired of holding this uh, phone. This doesn't hold well like the camera. I've got the knife on my camera right pocket but since the battery is nowhere nearly as good as this one in terms of durability I'm just gonna it's just easier to use the phone you know no problems no out of focus and also when it's snowing like this it doesn't it does it's just such a small lens it does not a big deal you know shit man that lands down street I forgot how far that was actually now the wind is actually not so bad here oh, I talk too much <sighs> See, you see all these step vans, also known as a walk-in walk -in truck, a walk-in van. You see them all over the place. I tip my hat off to those guys. Those guys are, are the glue to the economy, not just the truck drivers. These guys are driving locally, you know, and and uh, putting up with traffic and stupid people and customers and bad weather, and you know. So, uh, and as a matter of fact, a lot of times those step vans, uh, they can either get too cold or too hot. That's another thing, so... All right, guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching uh, Miss Message with I got eh? And uh, yeah, I got to try to remember one day to do that bilingual video, even though I only did it once. It was kind of like, well, no, this is crap. I have to take all the time crap. The East End has most of the old buses in St. Laurent. Anyway, I don't want to go there. Fucking SPM. They did a great job pushing me up continuously. It never ends. It's all right. I'm not done with them. I'm going to keep venting. As an influencer, I will keep venting and complaining about this company for a fucking dead. Or at least until they get half of their buses are new flyers. They don't give a shit if they run on peanut oil. Dig it? All right. Well, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> and these are an improvement, but they're still scrap. But they're an improvement. So uh, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.